right, hello internet friends, I'm Ryan. This is Demos in the Dark, sit back, relax. We're gonna do something a little bit different than what we typically do here. You see, Astral Music Tools has released a special run of their entire line in a custom black texture enclosure. They look cool, they sound amazing. Now we've gone through all of these pedals individually here on the channel never had them all together at one point. So what I want to do is go ahead and produce a song using these pedals. Now it will be on guitar, obviously. It'll be on Rhodes. I'm going to throw some samples in there. We're going to run the samples through there. And uh, bass, and it's going to be all over. And then when we come back after, I am going to show you those specific parts and how I got them. So sticking around, let's go through some of these sounds. Now I am using a Scythe Guitars OH-19 and I'm plugged into a Benson Amps Monarch Reverb Plus, just like I was on the track, sounds like this. All right, let's talk about the first guitar track that we have there. Now my idea for this song was that it was gonna be very spacious, but that everything was going to have its own little orbit around it. And so the first guitar you'll hear on the track is uh, E minor nine to A minor nine. Being that I wanted to give that a space of its own, not only in the mix, but also just in the overall sound. Um, I wanted it to be really drippy, but not super long. So I dialed in a shorter delay here on the ADG-1. It sounds like this. actually another rhythm part underneath it and you can hear it pop out now and again and it sits in a spot that is not the upper part not the keys part but just right there and then the bass and just kind of I don't know bolsters up that section and the part is So for that, I wanted something, again, kind of jumpy. Like I wanted, I initially I was going for something kind of Leslie-ish, but then I found a sound on the ACV-1 um, that I liked a lot better for this. It sounds like this. And 
But then of course, we're gonna take that and we are going to add some delay to it. Now I have increased the time quite a bit and we're still not using any of the actual modulation built into the delay, we're just using the delay. So that becomes this. is a really cool motif with both Rhodes and guitar. Now the Rhodes on this thing was just a slow flange all the way through. I didn't change it. I just found a sound I liked and went with it. And it's pretty much your standard slow flange. So we're not gonna go through that. Um, but to complement that part, I wanted to find a, a really cool, unique sound. And the part was. <laughs> First thing I did was I dialed in what I, I think is kind of a classic sounding chorus. And then of course we're gonna add some delay. Um, one of the things that I'm leaning on for this is the drive section. I have brought up the drive quite a bit so there's a little bit more bite on it. have that bass part in the middle there, that flanged out bass part. And for that, I'm running a Side Guitars OH-16. This has flat wound strings on it. I'm running into the pedal board, into a Neve DI, into a Manly Force, into a DBX-160A, and then a little bit of EQ on the top there. And the part was, Wanted that to stick out, so I actually pulled out some of the low end and really distorted the crap out of it. So now we are getting into the kind of guitar solo-ish part, and there's a really, really cool sounding rhythm guitar underneath all of it. And the part is kind of a... Flanger, of course. We're gonna go jet flanger on there. And then we're gonna use a pretty similar delay to what we were using before, except I have pulled the drive back a bit because we're using a lot of drive in the AFG-1. But what you end up with is...
after that, we hit the lead section, and you know, I wanted uh, I wanted flanger. So this is what I dialed in. Very metallic sounding, and then I added some more ADG one on that. Uh, again, leaning on the drive section on that. Really lends itself to like really slow parts that you can really get all those trails going. mentioned the Rhodes was really just a slow flange and it's a flange that we all recognize and I just kept that on for the whole thing um and then the samples I didn't really document what I did on the samples just because I was mangling them and that's kind of the beautiful thing that you can do with reamping so with reamping you either use a, a reamp box like I have here and then that goes into a DI to go back otherwise I have these two units here that are made by radial and those actually have the send and return built right into them. Um, and I use both kind of depending on the situation. It really, sometimes the, the radial reamp box, the pedal reamp box works better. Sometimes the uh, reamp into my own DI works better. Um, but, you know, I would just put those samples that I got off splice.com and I would just run them on a loop and I would turn these on and off and turn knobs and just wait until like the thing was just completely mangled. And that was how I did those parts. That's how I do a lot of parts because that's a lot of fun to do. So thanks Hawker for sending these over for me to uh, have a lot of fun with. They look amazing and they sound amazing because they do. Um, and as always, thank you for the privilege of your time. Mm -hmm.